Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Air Jordan 3 Retro in the dark powder blue colorway. Now as you can see here is a look at the box itself. We're going to take a quick look at the tag as well. You can see it says Air Jordan 3 Retro. The pair I have here is a size 9.5 US. The colorway is dark powder blue white black and wolf gray and i believe the retail price on these guys in the us was something around 160 dollars so we'll remove the top of the box and on the inside you do get a couple of extras i've already removed the hang tag that is included some people like to wear it with the hang tag some people don't i'm one of those people that is uh, really just going to leave this in the box i'm not going to wear it with them on the shoes and you also get what is kind of a retro card i guess you got Jordan there on the front and it basically just folds open and it gives you some specifications on the shoe with nothing on the back. So we'll get that out of the way and we'll get onto the shoes themselves because that is probably why you clicked on this particular video. And here they are guys, here is a look at the powder blue Jordan 3s. Now I apologize for not having very many Jordans on my channel as of late. I'm trying to be a lot more selective with the shoes that I buy, especially the Jordans because they tend to be quite expensive. Uh, I live in Canada for those of you guys that don't know and for, this would retail for, or like I said, around $160 in the US, whereas in Canada they retail for $210 plus tax, so they end up being around $230, $240, something like that. So again, I'm more selective with what I buy. But leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for types of shoes that you would like to see more often on my channel. I try to buy what I like, but uh, you guys leave suggestions, I look them up, and sometimes I find a shoe uh, that I really didn't know about all that much. Um, but this is one of those shoes I had my eye on for a little bit while now, for a little while now, sorry. And the reason why the video is coming so far after the release is because I kind of just walked in to my local sneaker store, stumbled across them, they had my size in stock, so I picked them up. Really, really like this dark powder blue colorway, and I am a really big fan of the Jordan 3 as well. Um, now, as far as quality goes, I know a lot of people like to kind of get on Jordan brand and Nike about the quality of these shoes, considering the high price tag that they have. And uh, I guess they do have a, a pretty solid argument as far as complaining goes, but for the most part, the quality on these seems to be pretty good, at least on the pair that I have right here. As far as materials go, you got a lot of different variations here, lots of different textures, which to me makes the overall look of this shoe, especially in person, a lot better um, than what the online pictures might see, might show. I'm not sure how popular this was um, as far as online sales go. I know for sure that they sold out. I'm not sure how hard they were to get though. Uh, since I was able to kind of walk in and get them, obviously they weren't all that popular. But as far as the materials go, you can see that you do have what appears to be kind of a tumbled leather. It does have the appearance of tumbled leather, but the finish is that of like a nubuck material to a certain extent. It still does feel a little bit like leather, but you can see that it kind of has that almost uh, dusty look where there's almost a slight little leather grain there. You guys can see when I brush it. Uh, so it does have somewhat of a new buck finish, which is kind of unique. I've never really seen that on a pair of shoes before. And with that kind of dark powder blue color, to me, it looks very, very good. This ring going around the outside here, the mud guard, whatever you want to call it, is more of a smooth new buck, as you guys can see. And it is slightly lighter than that kind of tumbled leather area. Moving on to the tongue and sides of the laces here, you have a perforated black new buck, where more of a solid new buck is right here at the top of the tongue your embroidered Jordan brand Jumpman logo there in white. You're also gonna find a little bit of that perforated nubuck here going around the ankle and heel area right at the top of the collar. Moving on to the other part of the shoe, you are gonna find your elephant print here going around the toe in that powder blue and black color as well as there around the heel and everything seems to be cut and stitched in very, very nicely. So again, no major complaints when it comes to quality um, in this particular area of the shoe. The liner, as you can see, does have kind of a similar elephant print design as well as on the backing here of the tongue. And it's in kind of like a wolf gray, silvery metallic color, which I think looks really, really good. Something that I wasn't expecting and something that you don't really see on the shoe until you hold it in your hands. And for those of you wondering about the insole, it is powder blue in color with a white Jumpman logo. Hopefully you guys can see it. I believe you can. Not gonna remove it because it is slightly glued in there. And then of course you do have your little plastic tab here at the back, black with your Air Jordan Jumpman logo in white. Um, kind of a signature thing of the Jordan 3s, at least the retro models. Obviously, the originals had the Nike Air. And to me, I, some people make a really big deal out of that. To me, it's not such a big deal. 
Um, but anyways, that's a different story altogether. Moving on to the midsole though, you do have your top line here in that black. It's painted on, it does have a slightly shiny finish as do most of the Jordans with this black kind of top midline sole area. Um, then of course the main area of the midsole is white in color. You have kind of a smooth painted on finish whereas this area is more of a kind of rubber material. And then of course you do have your white nylon stitching here going around the toe and forefoot area. Uh, the air unit itself is clear as you can see but on the inside uh, the physical air unit is actually blue, that same powder blue color, and so it does match there. Kind of a cool little touch. Uh, some people really haven't showed this, and I'm just kind of going to give you guys as good of a look as you possibly can. It's kind of difficult to show on camera. And then moving on to the outsole, you're going to find a wolf gray um, making up the majority of the outsole. Your black here in the forefoot, your black through the midfoot, and then your Jordan logo right there in that powder blue color. So again, a fairly simple colorway. It's just a little bit out there because of that powder blue color, which is relatively vibrant, especially for a pair of retro Jordan 3s. You don't see uh, the vibrant colors all that often. So again, I was really a big fan of this particular blue. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this particular release. And that's pretty much it as far as all the details go and what I have to say about it. And move on next to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes look. All right, here's a look at the Jordan 3s on feet with a pair of shorts. Pardon my ankle socks, I know a lot of you guys don't like that look. You like to match your socks with your shoes. And if that's your thing, great. That's not my thing, so I just don't do it. Um, so again, visually, I really like the look of the shoes. The Jordan 3 is an iconic design. Everybody knows this particular shoe. And in the powder blue colorway, it definitely is a little bit more unique. Very, very vibrant in person. Um, it's a pretty flashy shoe overall, not something that you can necessarily wear every single day, but if you want something that's going to stand out that you wear every once in a while, this powder blue colorway in the Jordan 3s is definitely going to do that for you. In terms of comfort, I personally find the Jordan 3s to be pretty comfortable. There's not a whole lot of cushioning to them, to be completely honest with you guys, but if you're just going to be wearing them for a couple of hours, going out or whatever, they're definitely going to do the job for you and you're not going to be in any kind of pain. And in terms of sizing, I'm wearing my usual size 9.5 and, and the fit is pretty much right on par with the other Jordan 3s I have in the exact same size. So if you've had Jordan 3s in the past, stick with the same size and for the most part I would say that these run pretty true to size if you do come across a pair. All right, here's a quick look at the Jordan 3s on feet with a pair of pants. And because these are bright blue, like I said, it's not something that you're necessarily going to want to wear every single day just because you can't wear blue shoes with everything. But for the most part, like I said, if you want to make an outfit with these shoes, uh, the blue is definitely unique and you are going to stand out to a certain extent. Like I said, iconic look of the Jordan 3s is something that you just can't go wrong with. It's just a matter of whether or not you like this powder blue color. All right guys, that's it for my review of the Air Jordan 3 Retros in the powder blue colorway. I apologize if this review is a little bit late for your liking, but like I said, I just picked them up. And I have to say, I really, really like this shoe. The quality seems to be on par with other retro Jordan 3s that I've personally owned and dealt with. And I really like this powder blue color. It's definitely unique and looks very, very good on the Air Jordan 3 silhouette, at least in my opinion. If you have any questions regarding this shoe, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions for shoes you'd like to see me bring in. If you are by chance interested in checking out some high quality images of this particular shoe that I took myself, I will leave a link to the review page on my website, which you can find down below in the description of this particular video. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. I believe I did already mention that though. Um, subscribe if you haven't already for more sneaker videos, of course. All of my social media information is also down below in the description. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.